Hello and thank you for viewing this tutorial video on the Schneider Electric Motor Data Calculator app. This app is available for both Android and iOS devices via the Google Play or iTunes Store. This app is just like the Motor Data Slide Rules or Motor Data Calculator Slide Rules that Square D Schneider Electric has done for many, many years. This app is split into three portions, motor data, wire data, and transformer data. Let's go ahead and start by reviewing the motor data. Motor data is available for single phase and three phase motors up to 600 volts. Let's go ahead and start with a three phase 480 volt system. For three phase 480 volt systems, Horsepowers are available from 0.5 to 200 horsepower. For this demo, let's go ahead and select a 10 horsepower motor. As you can see at the top, enclosed starters is selected. There is also an option for open style components. Since enclosed starters is the standard, we'll go ahead and review this data. The motor FLA is provided, in this case 14 amps. Wire size is provided, as well as thermal breaker size and safety switch size. Next, we have the NEMA contactor size, followed by the IEC contactor size, in this case an 18 amp contactor. Then, the dual element time delay fuse size is provided. Next, we have the heavy duty safety switch in a type 1 enclosure, in this case an H361. If we scroll down, we can see additional information for our Instakit IEC starters as well as for our class 10 and class 20 TSIS LRD bimetals that go with those starters. Finally, we have our NEMA starter, our Type S 8536 in a Type 1 enclosure as well as with the thermal element or heater unit that would go in that starter. Now let's scroll back up to the top and select open style data. For the open style data, you can see the motor FLA and wire gauge are the same for open as they would be for enclosed. Same breaker size, same safety switch size, same NEMA contactor size, same IEC contactor size. The first piece of new information is the power pack MCP, which is the motor circuit protector, in this case a 30 amp circuit breaker. Next, we move to the Class J fuse for an IEC contactor, in this case 20 amps. Then we scroll down to the CC fuse, in this case 25 amps. Again, we provide the part number for the IEC contactor, whether it be TSIS D or TSIS F, as well as the LRD Class 10 overload relay, in this case an LRD 21, as well as the new LR9 electronic overload relays, LR9032 in this case. For a UL508 Type E manual starter, the part number is given as a GV2P20. Then we provide data for the NEMA contactor, as well, in this case, a TSIS N NEMA contactor, which is a T02CN13. And for that contactor, what is the Class 20 bimetallic overload relay, in this case, an LRD21L? Next, Let's go ahead and move to the wire data. Wire data is provided from 14 to 500 MCM. Let's go ahead and look at a 6 gauge wire. For a 6 gauge wire, the copper ampacity at 75 degrees C is 65 amps. Aluminum wire, 50 amps. We also provide conduit size information and the maximum number of conductors that can be in that piece of conduit. This information is based off of the NFPA 70 Annex C Table C1 and is based on electrical metallic tubing. Next, let's go ahead and move to the transformer data. Dry type transformer data is provided for both single and three phase applications from 120 to 600 volts. In this case, let's look at a 10 kVA transformer and we can see that the ampacity is 83.3 amps. Click the More button for phone numbers and a contact email address for technical support. 
Thank you for viewing this tutorial video and don't forget information can be found on our website schneider-electric.us